<laughs> oh no, Sega, why? <laughs> Didn't you learn the first time? Sonic Boom Fire and Ice just got announced out of the blue. <laughs> and th not just the Sonic community, but everyone in general is going nuts. Oh, Pref prepare for Sonic 063, the revenge of the neckerchief. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Sega, why? And even on Sonic's Tumblr, even on Sonic's Tumblr, they pointed out that it's going to be better than the first one, you guys. <laughs> Just the fact that they even acknowledge that the first one was bad is hilarious. Because Sega usually doesn't acknowledge stuff like that. They usually completely ignore everyone like they're doing now by making another Sonic Boom. We're fine with the TV show. The movie... I mean, movie. The game? No, no, we're not fine with. No more. I mean, for those of you who've been fans of me, uh, probably none of you, <laughs> uh, you may have seen my Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric review. Ah ha ha, I gave it a 1.5, and some people got mad, they're like, really, that low? Yes, that low, it was a terrible game. At least 06 had good music, this has nothing. Ugh. But, it seems like there's only a 3DS version. But, if they have a Wii U version, you can guarantee another review, because I have a Wii U, I do not own... I mean, yeah, I do. Uh, well, my brother owns it, but whatever. And... Ugh, I'm not gonna play it. I'm I'm not even gonna go near that thing. <laughs> Unless there's a Wii U version, because I have to get it just to see how bad it's going to be. Sega, you're doing this again. Stop. <laughs> oh, this fire and ice thing just looks like a big gimmick like the wisps. This is hilarious. I'm dying. I am dying. But not as much as Sonic's dying. <laughs>